Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, today was very much like yesterday with cloudy skies out there and bouts of on and off rain across the region out there on the sky cam. You see some dark clouds across the sky, 83 degrees, feeling like 90 degrees. So still warm and muggy out there thanks to high humidity. And we saw some sunshine peeking through the clouds a little bit. So we did actually hit 91 for the high here in Baton Rouge. So looking across the southeastern U.S., you see this frontal boundary just off to the north. That's helping to provide some lift for numerous showers and storms across the region, along with daytime heating. We had those showers and storms begin Again, near the coast earlier this morning for mostly and then by the afternoon those begin to switch to more inland areas that we see some of the showers and some storms so right now on live viper radar you see the more heavier the rainfall in your storms is near Opelousas, near Ville Platte along the I-10 corridor just to the north that's to off to the west though and then kind of off to the north we have a couple more storms just near Wilkinson County and Amy County as well and elsewhere just a few light showers here and there but we've gotten plenty of rainfall over, overall so looking at the past couple hours rainfall total Totals on average from the past three hours or so. You can see where some of those hot spots were just off to the west near Point Coupe Parish along the I 10 corridor and looking off into the east along just east of uh, Tangible Hill Parish as well as seeing some hot spots. So we've had some heavy rainfall on already saturated ground. So there still is an isolated chance for some heavy rainfall and some flash flooding possibility today and over the next couple days as well. Now, tonight though, can't rule out a couple hit or miss shower storms for the overnight hours, but lows will generally be in the lower to mid 70s and can't rule out maybe some patchy fog, more so for more northern areas like near Liberty and Macomb by the early morning hours for your Monday. And then tomorrow afternoon, very similar temperature wise to what we saw today with high temperatures generally in the upper 80s, maybe hitting 90 degrees here and there. The humidity is still on the higher side, so those heat next values, how it's going to actually feel, still in the, to about the upper 90s, maybe hitting 100 degrees somewhere as you go into the afternoon hours. So it's still going to be warm, hot, and kind of humid, but not as as impressively hot as it has been in recent weeks. So, but there is a chance for numerous showers and some storms once again as you go into your Monday. So, kind of time now for you. Likely you're going to be seeing more so shower and storm development early in the morning along the coast and off to the west, moving inland as you go through the afternoon through evening hours. Some rainfall again may be heavy at times and then mostly clearing out by the evening, but we could still see some more showers and storms across the area through the evening hours into the overnight hours as well. And then come Tuesday, very similar once again, not too much day-to-day -day change as we see again numerous showers and storms kicking off in the afternoon across the region kind of rolling from west to east throughout the day into Tuesday night as well. So most of the rainfall will be falling through about now, now until about Wednesday, Thursday where some rainfall may be heavy at times and again on already saturated soils and grounds may provide that isolated flash flooding threat where we could see some heavy rainfall and storms that may not be moving all too fast so that could dump a lot of rainfall in a short amount of time. So more so for those low lying areas and those urban areas as well for this higher threat for flash flooding, but you see mo most of all rainfall totals over the next week or so, more so off to the west, the heaviest of rains in Lake Charles. So but what you can still see about two inches of rain on average across the region. And so the wet active period does continue as you go through your next seven day forecast, as we'll see high temperatures, thankfully a little bit nearer, just below average, about the mid to upper 80s, near 90 degrees or so. Daily shower and storm chances as you go through the new work week, high temperatures slightly warm up a little bit into the lower to mid 90s by next weekend. 